Hey guys, it's uh, Texas Tristan Ogilvie here alongside Cool Hand Luke Riley. That's me. Um, <laughs> we're playing some Red Dead Online. Uh, Luke, you, you obviously reviewed uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 for IGN I did. about a month ago. Uh, gave it a six bullets out of a possible revolver, which I think is our review scale. It that is 10 out of 10, yeah. uh, you loved it, as did I. And now, I you, the past couple of days, you've been playing uh, the Red Dead Online beta. It's a beta, but it's kind of fully formed, isn't it? I mean, it seems it's like- It's pretty it's... polished <laughs> for a, a, a beta. Yeah. Um, uh, certainly, the amount of times I've had issues, you could probably definitely count on one hand. I've had a couple of uh, hiccups and a couple of sort of quirks. Um, but uh, yeah, it's really robust. Nice. Yeah. Um, so yeah, let's uh, take, take people straight through in. it. So we can just hop, uh, obviously I've been playing for uh, a little while, so and I can't remember the last place I was, I think it was Tumbleweed, okay. uh, which you might remember as the original game. Uh, if you continue here, that'll just pick you up straight where you left off, whenever you last quit. Um, okay. wherever, wherever that happens to be in the world, but you can just hop straight into another area uh, directly, or you can hop straight into just straight multiplayer PvP. Um, we'll just hop back straight into, where do you want to go? Anywhere in particular? Uh, no, you, you surprised me. Okay. I would, we perhaps should uh, point out, uh, these aren't really spoilers, but if you haven't finished the single player game, there's probably a chunk of the map that you haven't seen yet. Uh, true. That you might yeah. see now. <laughs> yeah, true, true, true. <laughs> but it's not gonna well, spoil it. I mean, and also it came in the box. Oh, okay, true, the yeah, the map, yeah, yeah. okay. Okay, so well, we're fine, we're fine. That. Yeah. All right, so. All right, so here we are, meet. Helen Highwater. Hell and Helen Highwater. That's Very her. good, Luke. Uh, in the bayous now, it's kind of dark and drab, which doesn't make for great content. But you can't uh, choose what time of day it is, obviously, because it's an online yep. uh, environment. You're at the mercy of that, basically. Um, but we're if we also back, yeah, sorry, I don't yeah. cut you off. We're also at the mercy. This is off, we're on a live server here, and we're at the mercy of potential attack from other players, right? Or That's unpredictable. That is correct. Of, that is um, correct. So yeah. We'll, Although I have to say, uh, and I've stressed this in the written uh, accompaniment to yep. this uh, video, that yep. my experience has been, like for the most part, surprisingly civil okay. so far. That's because you, you haven't played enough with me. No, that's In fact, that's the, the two hours that we did play together, I, we did. came upon the first instance of us coming across another human player. I. Blew him, blew his head off. Actually, it was yeah. a good shot. Yeah, um, it was pretty uh, effective. <laughs> but I felt pretty bad about it. But it was a reflex. I thought he was going to attack. I felt bad about it. I was just, I was associated with it. I've been priding myself on polite nods. <laughs> That's right. Uh, you know, slow ambling, yeah. non-threatening ambling through towns. Yep. No, you're, and you're, yeah, you're, you're hanging with staining it. my reputation. <laughs> well, I'm a bad seed. Anyway, uh, sorry, Luke. But yeah, like, you know, the, you know, the odd wave when, you know, you sort of trot past right. people. Uh, and it, it's only occasionally have I been lassoed and towed <laughs> through Blackwater and shot in the back, which, Ooh. as I mentioned to the fellas that were possing with me at the time, the ultimate, yeah. like, no-no in is, the Wild West. You can't shoot a man in the back or a woman done. in the back. It is not done. Uh, but let's quickly uh, duck out. I just want to duck out to this... Um, map because it'll give you an indication of just how, like, like I said, this is where the game, uh, where Red Dead Online is most like the single player, mm -hmm. which is the part of the game that I like most. Um, my thoughts on PvP are well known, probably not well known, but playing anything against other people who take it way more seriously is uh, challenging yep. for me uh, because it's not quite as fun. <laughs> but in the in free roam where you can sort of um, complete more traditional style missions with friends it kind of makes me crave a version of Red Dead that is just co-op right know, yeah like just basically just, just, just that which to be fair this basically is yeah uh, it's, say for kind of a, a different economy which is massage to make everything take longer to earn mm -hmm. um, and kind of a, a few other sort of uh, quirks, right? But yeah, you, you know, you can head to these strangers, and they'll give you a specific mission types. You may be going to grab a, a stagecoach, or you may be going to kill some folks. So it all varies, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, some of those strangers you'll know. There'll be uh, I've met Bonnie McFarlane from the original game uh, down in uh, McFarlane Ranch, which is down here, 
as you'll notice, the entire map is open from the get-go yep. uh, in Red Dead Online, so you can it's go wherever huge. you want. huge. It is massive. <laughs> uh, you can fast travel around by heading to the, the, tra the train stations. Uh, that, there's a nominal fee for that. Like right. A dollar to go here or four dollars to go there or whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, you can do these missions at, or you can hop into the sort of straight PvP stuff, but you can also just do that from the menu itself, right? Uh, which is quite handy. Um, which is something that I feel like probably needed to get added because there isn't a cell phone in this game, mm. obviously. Um, so there are a few sort of uh, quality of life improvements. So you can hop straight into stuff from a bunch of the menus rather than sort of fussing around with the phone. Right. Um, you can consult the catalog, which you can carry around in the world, buy things on the go, and it'll be delivered to, if they're weapons, they get delivered to your horse, and if they're other products, they get delivered to your okay. camp. Or the post office, right? Or well, the post office, yep. yeah. And there's, oh, there's, gosh, you could, you, I can speak for a while, but yeah, there's things that you, like the last mission I completed, it, I earned a treasure map, and then I had to go to the post office to pick that up. Right. Um, all of that sort of player management stuff uh, persists from the single player to this. So you need to make sure that you're keeping your character fed, um, keeping your horse maintained, mm -hmm. dropping into the stores to pick up supplies, or hunting in the you know in the wilderness to make sure that you've got steady supply of meat to eat. Um, but yeah, let's just uh, I don't want to get too bogged down in this first video of this kind of stuff. Um, but let's just hop into I want to hop into one of the missions that I particularly enjoyed, um, which I need to this because the menu just too many things. <laughs> Story. That's it. <laughs> No, that's, like right. mom, that's not it. My mum using her phone. Yeah, online. <laughs> uh, um, no, that's not it either. But as you can see, if you, you anyway, we talked about that at the start of the thing. Yep. Uh, progress. This is the one. All right. Um, but yeah, as 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 a beta, obviously not everything here. Uh, this isn't sort of indicative of what the full game mm -hmm. is going to ultimately be. And, and of course not, because if GTA Online is an indication, they've updated that for, what's that, five years, six years now? Yeah. Um, but for now, there are only about five or six, maybe, uh, story missions. Okay. Uh, for, the, for, for, for this uh, Red Dead Online. Um, yeah, six. So I just I don't want to spoil too much, and so we won't show you how this ultimately pans out. But um, this is probably my favourite one so far, um, and it's really as you can see, it's really easy to just replay them at will. Yep. Um, and the game will just sort of match match make, and all you know, it'll it'll get, get it all sorted out. But um, that, wait, what was I going to say? I forgot. Doesn't matter. Mustn't have been important. <laughs> That's what my grandmother always said. <laughs> yeah. say, what was what was going to say? If you can't remember, it wasn't important. Start matchmaking. Um, but yeah, basically the basic gist of uh, Red Dead Online is that your character uh, was set up for a crime uh, he or she didn't commit. Uh, and now because you were busted out by these folks, uh, I'll speak broadly because you know you, you guys will experience this when you uh, even when you play it. Uh, you're kind of indebted to these, these, these folks and they want you to help them get revenge on uh, some uh, ne'er do wells, right? Uh, let's say. Um, but I particularly like this mission, and, I'll, and Tristan will probably see why in a moment. Um, a because it's like really action packed. Like it's a really, it's like a really great fun gun battle in this one. I'll just ready cool. up. Um, oh, we're ready to go. That was nice and rapid. Um, they know that we're filming. Yeah. We're yeah. Really <laughs> 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 um, question for you. Hit me. Do you have a fishing rod yet? Oh no, okay, I don't. And that's based, that that literally what I've been working towards. I, I need to get I need to complete level fourteen uh, uh, to get the fishing rod. I'm in thirteen at the moment. Oh okay. Uh, and I've been playing it pretty steadily for the past. Well, I mean, two days. Mm -hmm. I haven't played it much this morning. Um, but yeah, fishing rod. Desperately want the fishing rod. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of one of those things where I understand from a from a game design perspective you want to eke things out to players, yep. particularly in an online game like this. Of course, um, to you know encourage progression and to constantly reward people mm -hmm. for sticking around and achieving things. Yep. 
Um, so the, I guess there's just a few of those things you just need to deal with. Those are really gamey things you yep. need to deal with where yep. it's like, well, I can afford the fishing rod, but I'm not allowed to buy it right. because of reasons. <laughs> um, but it's just one of those things, yep. you know how it is. Um, so this mission, actually the first time I completed this mission, it was uh, daylight, broad daylight. Um, so now it is not, as you'll notice. <laughs> but it could have been worse, it could have been a little foggier or something. Mm -hmm. which, um, come on, Mr. Pickle Weasel. Uh, Here we go. Is that what you named your horse in the single player as well? Uh, yes, it is. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> come on, let's go. So, now that I'm concentrating a little bit more, forgive me if I start to speak less. That's all right, I'll fill the dead air. Um, <laughs> uh, so, we should point out we don't actually know these people. Can, can they Correct. betray you? Uh, no, I, no, no, no. No friendly fire? No, not in this. Um, right, okay, so it's a safe space. Yeah, that is an op like, do, in the f open world, you are, um, when you create a posse, I believe, if I remember correctly, that is an option you can turn off. You can right. toggle off. Right. Uh, sort of friendly, friendly fire, the prevention of friendly fire. Right. Um, I think it defaults to friendly fire is off, so you don't have to worry about getting shot by your friends. That's good. Um, well, other people don't have to worry about me shooting them, because yeah. I have a history of it. But yeah, so we're down in, um, we're actually headed to Fort Mercer, so that's from the original game. Yes. I think it was where Billy, Billy Williamson was Billy holding, Will, yeah, that's holding right. up. That is right. Uh, quite early on, like really early on in that game. Here we go. So yeah, it wasn't a long ride um, for these missions. And I don't, I don't think any, many of them were. You can embark on really long rides, uh, which I found quite fun. And it may, it, that may be less fun many dozens of hours in when you're like, you know, you're with a bunch of friends and you're like, oh, we have to get over here. But again, just fast travel, so. Right. And only one of you needs to fast travel because once you trigger the mission, everyone gets dragged into it. Cool. So yeah. I guess the, uh, the only thing that's sort of a slight disappointment this time around uh, is that because there's no sort of ran there's the random strangers that sort of pop up needing snake venom sucked out of their legs. Like, Here we go. What? There's a bunch of Ned Kellys. <laughs> a bunch of Neds. Yeah. So he actually, I well, was speaking over the fella, but the fella was like, I just wanted to try this out because I read about this. It's from Australia. Um, so, oh, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. So if you're watching this and you're not familiar with the the uh, story of uh, Ned Kelly, who is an infamous Australian outlaw. Legendary. Created a uh, suit of armor which looked just like these and uh, used it to... Uh, Shoot at a bunch of cops. I don't know how effective his last stand ultimately was. I always forget. I don't think he um, he ended up getting his he ended up getting shotgun in the leg. I think. Um, um, I, I think we should point out to anyone uh, who isn't uh, Australian. So most people. Uh, they pr yeah, but most of the of the planet. They probably uh, recognise it from uh, the Yahoo serious comedy Reckless Kelly. Ah yes, the yes. <laughs> Definitely. But actually, that yeah. was based off a real thing. This guy is about to have a bad day. Oh! Oh, he was minced. <laughs> Whoa! Where'd that guy come from? He popped up. Someone should, someone should take him out. There you go. That's strange. Right, it's a beta. It is a beta. Yeah. Um, Serious. <laughs> <laughs> He'd probably sue us for mentioning him. <laughs> uh, hang on, here we go. We gotta go in now. So yeah, this is actually a really fun mission. Particularly, it's particularly fun with um, like all friends that you're communicating with. Yeah, rather, of course. Yeah, it's rather strangers. But I've been surprised at how um, how well everything's gone. Just playing, because unlike when I, because I play a lot of GTA Online. Solo, and I'm quite content to just dart in and out of story missions and uh, contact missions and just 
play through them by myself yep. at my own pace. Yep. Um, and, and just basically opt straight out of matchmaking. Whereas in this game, when you decide to trigger a story mission, all of that matchmaking just happens straight right. away. Right. You just you just plonk straight into a game with a bunch of um, a bunch of strangers, unless you're playing with friends already. Mm -hmm. And but it's yeah, it's worked quite well. There's only there was one instance where I ended up. I think I started a mission with three people, and we went through the the whole first cutscene, and we all hopped on our horses. And because the other one of the other fellas quit. It knocked us back out. And we had to restart the mission. It was like it created a mission fail state or something like that. Right. But it wasn't a huge burden because we'd only just started. It was just one of those little things where I don't know when that person quit. I don't know whether they quit during the cutscene or whether they actually did literally quit the moment the gameplay began. Right, right. So it's hard. It's hard to gauge. Yeah. But yeah, that's it's, I've really had very few issues. Um, so. Yeah, there's, 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 ton, there's a ton of there's a ton of enemies in here, so actually it's quite a fun mission to repeat, especially in the absence of like many other missions at this point, which I imagine are in coming. That's hard to see on this small TV. That's my excuse. <laughs> It would be cool. I'm from the hip like that. Yeah, it would be cool if uh, when you're in these Ned Kelly uh, helmets and you were talking to your friends online, it put some kind of like muffled reverb on your voice. It's yeah. Like, <laughs> like knowing Rockstar's attention to detail, like it wouldn't surprise me if that was something that they did. But um, yeah, it's like, uh, I was quite upset that I didn't get to keep this armor after, oh. after this mission. Yeah, that is disappointing. Right, here we go. But such is life. Oh! Ned Kelly reference. <laughs> and we're done. That's it. <laughs> Famously, his last words. Correct. Um, ooh, this guy's from Dark Souls. <laughs> <laughs> oh. One bug out of Oh! Ooh. Oh! oh! Damn it! Man, he is, he's a brute. You think I'm of you, All right. I don't have any team lives left, so we gotta try to survive. I guess we just shoot him in the legs. Well, it worked against Ned Kelly. Yeah, that's, they're correct. Don't die. He died. <laughs> ah, what a shame. Yeah. <laughs> Surely every, yeah, here we go. Okay, so you just restarted at the checkpoint? Yeah, you restarted the checkpoint. Sweet. Uh, so just when that heavily armored fella came out. Teddy Brown. Teddy Brown, that's him. Um, let's start over here. You do move slower when you're in the armor. Not not massively slower no. from a, from the feel of things. <laughs> Gruesome. <laughs> <laughs> Little plus eleven XP for execution. What is this fella? Is that guy trying to lasso him? That's just not, if not, not, not gonna work, not gonna work, mate. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Ooh. Oh, I'm not gonna jump down Do you have any, any dynamite or anything to throw? Yeah, it's all good. Nice. Yeah, he's done for. Anyway, let's wrap it up though, because there's some, this is, it's a, it's a nice little uh, bookend uh, scene here. And it is the last scene of the beta so far for the story. For the story, right. Let's wrap it up. Uh, we will be back uh, ongoing. We'll be back next week uh, with some more updates, uh, some more videos. Um, so yeah, 
stick around, stay tuned. Yeah, and be sure to read uh, your more detailed impressions, which are on IGN. Uh, com. As of right now. Uh, but yeah, early signs are good. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for stay more. Stay tuned. Thank you, Luke. Thank you, Tristan. Bye. Bye.